Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you what I use for screen sets in Reaper. And screen sets let me go from a recording layout to a mixing layout to a secondary mixing layout to a video editing layout and to a mastering layout in the touch of a button. To access screen sets in Reaper, going up to the view menu and you're looking for screen sets and layouts. From this window, we can save and load presets for the positions of windows. So rather than constantly opening and closing windows, we can just hit a couple keyboard shortcuts to go between different tasks. Once we have some saved, we can click here to load. We can double click to load a window screen set. You can also see the load keys and the save keys. If we want to edit these shortcuts, we can just click this button here. I'll bring up the action list. It filters the action list to show us just the relevant keyboard shortcuts. I have screen sets one through five assigned to keyboard one, two, three, four, five, and I have saving with shift one, two, three, four, and five. So for me, that works the best. And these five layouts are the ones that I'm using constantly. So to set up a layout, we could do something like um, open up our mixer. We can open up Media Explorer. You know, we can make this full screen. Let's set this up so that we have just the master and we have the media explorer visible here. Go to number six and we can hit save. And then we have these options here to give a name and which things are saved. The main window position, tool window positions, Docker selected tab, mixer flags are the options here in the, um, the master fader, layouts and last focus. So the last thing that you touch there. So I can call this Media Explorer. Go back to Edit. Go back to Media Explorer. And it's a really quick way of switching tasks without constantly moving windows, finding the little X to close a window, all that kind of stuff. So screen sets are the way to go by far. And that's it. Hope you've enjoyed this video on using screen sets in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more videos.